when you're running old equipment, you've got to be part mechanic as well as part farmer. And my old uh, International Hydro 84 here is testing my abilities as a mechanic. It's, um, it's been losing power lately, and it just plain stalled out. Uh, the problem is some sort of a fuel flow problem. Probably the filters that are inside these canisters here. Uh, I've never done this sort of work before on diesel equipment. I mean, changing filters is no big deal in anything, but the whole fuel system needs to be completely filled with fuel no air allowed if the machine's going to start again and so the bleeding out of the air is one of the challenges I'm going to be dealing with but I want to show you how I'm going about learning how to fix this um, it, it has to do with making a video and sending it to a really great mechanic friend of mine I buy my parts from him and so I just want to show you how the internet can make it a whole lot easier to keep equipment like this running. The mechanic who's going to be helping me is, is named John Turner and the rest of the video uh, is directed to him. I'm going to show him what the situation is and then he's going to tell me how I can bleed the system once I get the new filters in and hopefully get this old tractor running again. Hi John, I thought I'd show you what I'm involved with here and what I've done so far troubleshooting the problem. As you mentioned to me on the phone there's a, a crossover pipe here leading from one side of the tank to the other. This has a shutoff valve on it. So this pipe just leads from here to the other side of the tank. You can see here. So the, the main feed from the tank is the second valve that you can see here. And I took, I took the metal tubing off that and we've got full flow from there. So I don't think there's any clog in the tank or the valves or anything like that. So now I'll take you over and, and to see the filters. So here are the filters that um, the incoming fuel line is, is this here. Now I haven't taken this off to see if there's fuel flowing. I'm, I'm a little reluctant to undo this banjo bolt in case I can't get it back together again. There's also another part of the engine right here. I can get a wrench in there. If you think I should take that off to see if fuel is getting that far, then I will. But it kind of seems to me that if it's leaving the tank properly, it's probably getting through that pipe properly. So maybe my first bet would be to change the filters here. Um, I know these are the bleed screws here. I took them off just for fun to see if the fuel would come in from the tank and, and fill those and, and come out of those filter canisters just by gravity. It didn't. Uh, I only, I'd only watched it for 10 or 15 seconds. Maybe I didn't watch it long enough, but I'll go underneath here. So this is the bottom of the canisters. I've taken these drain plugs out just briefly and fuel kind of glug glugged out of there. So I'm sure I have some air in the canisters already even though I've never taken them off. It looks to me like this larger bolt here is what I need to remove to take the canisters off and then put the filters on, button it all back up again. The real trick is going to be bleeding air out of the system and so I've, I've got an idea for that. Now. I know that to bleed the air out, I'm going to have to loosen off the bleed screws on top of the canister, but I've got an idea for forcing fuel through the system, and I want to know what you think of that. So just let me show you. So here's the uh, filler of the tank, and I'm thinking that if this thing doesn't bleed properly by gravity, maybe I could get a chunk of rad hose or some kind of rubber hose, put it on here, put a screw clamp on it and then put some kind of another fitting on the other end maybe an ABS fitting or something to just block it off and then in the middle of that fitting I could install a, a tire valve and what do you think about just putting a couple of PSI pressure on the tank with those bleed screws open 
uh, to force fuel through the system. So I think that would probably work pretty well on the filter side of things. I'm not sure how to bleed the pump, so I'll take you over there and show you that now. So here's the injector pump on the left side of the engine. And I can't see anything here that looks like a bleed valve. I mean, I've looked around. Um, there's nothing, nothing that really comes to mind. The only thing I can think of is, I mean, should I, should I loosen off this banjo bolt and try to get the fuel to, to bleed up through it that way? I don't know, um, but I'm sure you do. So, let me know what you think, and um, whether you can get me those filters or not. Thanks, John. Thanks for watching. Click here to join the thousands of people who get the Bailey Line Road hands-on how-to newsletter for free every Saturday morning.